I'm Lynette Carrington for Scottsdale Progress, and we are coming to you from the 25th annual Celebrity Fight Night. And this year marks 25 years where they have raised $86 million for all kinds of charities. We have a star-studded event tonight. We're expecting, oh goodness, who we got? Reba McIntyre is hosting. David Foster is doing the musical program. We've got Chris Tucker. We've got uh, Bo Derek. And we even have Rita Wilson. I'm so excited to talk to Rita Wilson. So stay tuned. You're going to hear all of the fun things that are going on in the red carpet, in the gift suite, and beyond. Good evening and welcome to the 25th Annual Celebrity Fight Night at JW Marriott Desert Ridge. Rita Wilson, hi, I'm Lynette Carrington from Scottsdale Progress. You look incredible. Thank you, so nice to see you, so do you. Thank you, I'm digging this necklace, this is great. I, I might have to borrow that. The lady, um, her name is Simone Brier, and she had a show in the hotel tonight and I fell in love with this piece and she loaned it to me for tonight. So. And what are you most looking forward to uh, this evening? I, you know, it's an incredible night. Reba McIntyre has been the all-time uh, most amazing host for so many years, so I love her. She's hilarious. But then we have Barry Manilow. We have so many incredible performers. Pia Toscana. I'm performing tonight, not putting myself in the category of Barry Manilow, mind you. <laughs> but very happy to be here and, um, and raising money for a good cause. And you know what I love about Rita Wilson? She was in the Brady Bunch once, right? Yeah. Pat Conway. Yes. I love that. Thank you, Rita, for Thank stopping you. to chat. Hi. Hi. Carolyn Campbell. Hi, I'm Lynette Carrington Hi. from Scottsdale Progress. Can we talk about this dress for a second? Why, thank you so much. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Who Who is the designer? It's Giovanni. Absolutely thank stunning. So, so much. beautiful. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Even in my toes match, I actually perform barefoot. And so when I can, <laughs> I try to match the toenails and my pedicures are deductible, or at least that's the theory. <laughs> that's fabulous. Now, I know last year you kind of changed up your performance and you did something a little bit different. So what about this year? What are you going to do this year? I did. Last year was rock and roll, a little bit, you know, a little bit wild. Um, this year is a little more classical film music, so a little more elegant, but still very exciting. I'm going to, I don't know how much to give away, but we're going to do a little bit from Pirates of the Caribbean, which is very rousing and familiar and hopefully kicks off the night um, with some energy and excitement. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. me, Carolyn. Have a great evening. Thank you so much. You have been such amazing supporters of Celebrity Fight Night. I, I, can, I don't even know how many years this is for you. What brings you back year after year after year? Oh, wow. The folks that are doing the work, you know, honestly, um, our friends, the friends that we've met on these trips here and to Italy, um, it's really like a high school sort of family reunion atmosphere that we all get together for such a great cause. It's fabulous. Are you really looking forward to hearing Barry Manilow perform this evening? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's been a while. I've, I've heard him once. I don't think my wife has ever seen him live, so we're really excited. And will you be performing as well? I'm performing right before him, so. I'm, no, no pressure, I'm, no pressure. I'm, I'm, let him do his thing. It's fabulous. And with this interview, you become the celebrity I have interviewed the most. How about that? There we are. Yeah. Thank you, Brian McKnight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me more about your projects. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I'm Lynette Carrington. How are you? Our project is very exciting because, can I say we're about to go public? Yeah, go ahead. We're about to go public. Candlelight, Candlelight Inc which is K-L-F-E, and uh, we're going to be the company that does the breakthrough for concussions that's going to help make the brain much more neuroplastic so that what happened to Muhammad, what happened to Junior Seau and, and Mike Webster and Kenny Stabler doesn't have to happen. And uh, we're doing great research at Temple, thanks to this guy, Dean Fedkanis. And, um, you know, we have more work to do, but uh, I am so confident that in 10 years we're going to have answers that no one could have dreamed of to make the game not only for fighters and football players, but for girls soccer players and cheerleaders and, and for people that just want to make sure that their kids grow up with a healthy brain. So, Wow, thank you. What are you most looking forward to this evening? Just having some fun, hanging out with a good friend of mine. I came in for the event. Nick said, come in. It's going to be fun. I said, I uh, don't have a tuxedo. He said, F it, you have a tuxedo. And I wore my tuxedo. So. And every time with Nick is a great time. Am I right? Well, it's hard. It's so hard to have fun at fight night, right? You know, I love Brian McKnight. I wish he just sang the whole night. Great. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a lot of fun. Take care. Thank you.
Hi, Renee Parsons. I'm Lynette Carrington from Scottsdale Progress. How are you? Great. You see, I'm fantastic. Your dress is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Tell me about your latest endeavors with the Parsons Foundation. Tell me, tell me what's new. Yeah, we're um, focused on a lot of things right now, but we're doing a lot with the Girl Scouts here, right here in Phoenix, and also with the LGBTQ uh, community and population. We're supporting an organization I like to talk about tonight called One in Ten. Uh, yes, yeah, so you've heard of it. Okay, great. So it's an organization here in Phoenix that is dedicated to that um, group of individuals, th to our youth, and uh, to help provide them support, opportunities, housing in many cases. And so that's a, a, a big focus for us right now. And well, we can't forget the military. <laughs> oh, well, yes, yeah, there's, there's more. There's, there that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> yes. You do such amazing work, so thank you for everything that you do for so many amazing groups. And what are you most looking forward to this evening? Well, let's see, do you want you start? Say. Well, I'm looking forward to Renee getting her award and seeing her on stage. And she does such a wonderful job when she's up there. So, so that's going to be a lot of fun for me. And then, you know, just the whole evening. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing Reba and, and Lani, of course, and Barry Manilow. So a lot of fun and remembering the champ. And uh, we always feel his, his spirit when we're here and we miss him a lot, but we know he's probably looking down on us and smiling. So thank you so much for stopping to chat with me. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Aldrin, you look amazing. What is going to be the highlight of the evening for you? Well, a while back it was punching somebody who, who called me a liar. <laughs> it was it was the best thing I did for my uh, fellow astronauts. They said, oh, look at what Buzz did. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy your evening. Thank you so much for coming and supporting. It's great to see you. John O'Hurley, hi, I'm Lynette Carrington from Scottsdale Progress. Oh, well, nice to meet you, how are you? I'm fantastic, thank you so much. Hi. hi. Nice to you. Thank you so much for coming out. I understand this is your first year. First year. Yeah. All right. Well, they dropped their standards a touch, and then they you know, kind of th th let the door open. We snuck in finally. Only took them 25 years. <laughs> hey, better late than never. So, what are you most looking forward to this evening? It's just going to be an, an enjoyable night. Um, I get to see a dear friend, Barry Manilow, um, who is just uh, you know ageless and evergreen. He just keeps going and going and going and going. Fantastic. And Lisa, I, your dress is stunning. Who made this? Thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure. No, it's Solas London. It's gorgeous. Great. Absolutely gorgeous. And John, I have to say, I'm a huge fan not only of your acting, but your voiceover work. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, I, I do a lot. I do a lot of work in the uh, in the studio for animation just to keep give my uh, son a body of work that he can watch. <laughs> That's fantastic. I hope you both have a lovely evening. Thank Thanks for you. stopping. Yeah, thank you. You look amazing. I absolutely, come on over here and see me. How are you? Okay, your makeup looks absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Okay, are, are you gonna sing me a little something something this time? Oh, well, I better say my voice. I'm okay. actually performing tonight, which is very exciting. Oh, yay! Yeah. And you get to work with uh, David Foster. Is this your third time here or the second? Oh, this is my second time in a row. Okay. So I'm very, very excited to be back, um, I guess. Some people call me part of the uh, Celebrity Fight Night family now. <laughs> yes, and I think you should come back every year because you are you are such a breath of fresh air on this red carpet. Tell me about your latest projects. Oh, wow. Well, I'm actually working on my debut album, and I just recently went on America's Got Talent, The Champions. So many awesome things have happened, and I'm so grateful to be back here and have Celebrity Fight Night uh, be another one of my gigs. And it really is an awesome feeling being back here and seeing everyone. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It really is. <laughs> well, congratulations, and I hope the album is just an absolute smash. You are so marvelously talented. Thanks, Angelica. Have a good evening. Bye. How are you this evening? Very good. Thank you. I see you got the memo that purple is the color yes, this it evening. Is. It is hey. the color tonight. Hey. I love it. I love this little uh, accessory. I know. That's pretty, oh, isn't it? Band. Thank you. Yeah, it's all diamonds, I'm pretty sure. Um, so tell me what you are most looking forward to this evening. The entertainment, seeing old friends, because I've been here 19 or 20 years. I can't, I'm not exactly sure. So I always look forward to seeing everyone. And we always get an update on all the good work that's been done. Yes, absolutely. And on your end, I know you have some 
causes that you're very passionate about. What uh, What's new on that end? Oh my gosh. Um, you know, I'm very big into wildlife trafficking. So there's some good news. Shark fin soup consumption is down 80% in Asia. So that's good. That's incredible. And John, do you have any uh, new projects coming up? I, I have a, uh, I'm doing a sequel to a movie that was on Netflix uh, right before Christmas called To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Um, it's a young adults movie. I play the dad to uh, three teenage girls and we're, I'm leaving in a week to go uh, to make the number two. We're making two and three at the same time. Yeah, it's cool. Well, enjoy your evening and thank you so much for stopping. Thank you. Good evening, Michael Carbajal. I am Lynette Carrington from Scottsdale Progress. How are you? Good, I'm doing great. Here it is, 25 years, can you believe it? Unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, 25 years ago and, uh, hey, but it's still going strong and it's, it's even gotten bigger than when we first did it. It's great. $86 million raised. I mean, who would have thought, you know, back that first year when you were fighting in the ring, uh, that was down when it was at the Ritz Carlton. It's amazing how far they've come. What are you most looking forward to this evening? Well, you know, we're, uh, looking for whoever's here, what celebrities are here, and um, I, I, I love to meet them too. So, not because I'm only a celebrity, but I'm a boxing celebrity. I'm not like a movie star celebrity, so I look up to them too. They need to make a boxing movie of your life. Let's just throw that out there, okay? Oh, They're working on Stay it. Tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Scottsdale Progress just got scooped. Okay, thank you so much for sh for stopping and speaking with us this evening, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Take care. And look, now we're actually on the red carpet with Donovan McNabb. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? Fantastic. Is this your first time at Celebrity Fight Night? No, it's not. I've been a, a part of it for a couple years. It's been a couple years since uh, we've been back, but uh, we've always tried to support everything that uh, it stands for and, and what it's all about. And your gown is gorgeous. Who are you wearing this evening? It's Ralph Lauren. Gorgeous, beautiful, classic. And what are you most looking forward to this evening? The music. I always enjoy the music here. It's always fun, lively, entertaining. <laughs> it's wonderful. Tell me about any, do you have any special projects coming up? Anything uh, cool coming up in the next six months, maybe? Well, nothing right now. Uh, you know, not that we live a boring life, but uh, <laughs> we have four kids. And um, so some of the things that we've been able to do is really based around what they're doing athletically. So, um, you know, I'm just involved in, in mentoring project, projects with some of the kids in the area. Uh, trying to help them and, and just prepare them for, for what's in, in stake in the future. Uh, I'll be doing some media stuff and, and uh, you know, doing some stuff for the draft coming up, mm -hmm. uh, the NFL draft that is. And, um, you know, from that point on, we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for joining me on the red carpet, and I hope you really enjoy Celebrity Fight Night. You better get in there. I think you're missing some fabulous food, too. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you.